consider the following. Consider we have A anded with a B, and this is odd with another A, which this time is anded with a not B. Now we can rewrite that as follows. We can say, let's have the A anded with the B or the not B. And it's as if we've taken the A outside of the brackets. If I now rewrite the A anded with the B or the not B, I can do this. I can say that the A is anded with the B. So I can say that the A is anded with the B. And then we can see here we have an OR sign. So I'll put the OR sign back here. And then this A is anded with the not B. So I have the A anded with the not B. And that looks very much like we've expanded the brackets. But in fact, what we have here, we have the distributive law for Boolean algebra, Boolean variables. What I wish to do now is to show that this is correct, that we can represent Boolean expressions in the same way as demonstrated by these two examples. Let's draw the logic circuit for this here. Here we can see the logic circuit and let's derive the Boolean expression at F here. Well the first thing we can see that this AND gate has the input A. This one has the input B. So the output of the AND gate here will be A and B. If we look down here we can see that this also has the input A. Whereas this one has the input NOT B because it comes from the NOT gate which has been connected to the B input. So here we have A and NOT B. Consequently at F here we have the A and the B odd with the A and the not B. So we can see that the expression at the output F is the same as we have here in the original example we looked at. Let's now draw the combinational logic circuit for this expression here. Well, we can see that here. So we will have an A going into this AND gate. If I come down here, we can see we have a B going into this OR gate. And this will be a NOT B because the B is taken through a NOT gate. So in this position here, we'd have the B ORD with the NOT B. And the output at F here would therefore be equal to A ANDED with the B or the NOT B. Now what we should be clear on here is these two logic circuits look completely different. The output at F look completely different, but this is a superficial look. Indeed, we will see in a moment that although the Boolean expressions look different and the logic gates look different, they logically are exactly the same. We can see here that I have drawn the combinational logic circuits out again and I have four copies of each of the combinational logic circuits. That's because we have four possible combinations at the input. So I'm going to start off by putting a zero here at A and also at B and I'll do the same for this combinational logic circuit here because we're going to compare the output when both of the inputs are a zero. Now this zero will come here to the input of the AND gate, this zero will come to the input of the AND gate, and when an AND gate has both of its input as a zero, then the output is a zero. Now consequently that zero will actually come to the input of this OR gate. We'll now come here and we can see that the A comes down and is given to the input of this AND gate, whereas the B, which is a zero, goes through this NOT gate and is changed to a 1. Now the output from an AND gate when the inputs are a 0 and a 1 is a 0. And this 0 comes to this input of the OR gate. And the output here is now a 0. If we do the same for this particular circuit we can see that that 0 comes to this input here 
and this zero comes to this input of the OR gate and the B comes through this NOT gate consequently we'll have a 1 here and when you have a 0 and a 1 at the input to an OR gate the output is a 1 now that output goes to this input here so that will be a 1 now when an AND gate has a 0 and a 1 at its input the output is a 0 so we can say for this combination when both A and B are 0 the output here is a 0 and the output here is a 0 we will now choose the other combination that's possible at the input to these combinational logic circuits we'll have A as a 0 and B as a 1 on both of the combinational logic circuits as you can see here now that will mean we'll have a 0 and a 1 at the AND gate the output would be a 0 this 1 from the B goes through a NOT gate changing this to a 0 and the A comes down to here which is a 0 consequently we have a 0 here at the output of the AND gate two zeros going into the input of an OR gate will give us a 0 at the output if we now have a look at this A here which is a 0 it will come into this AND gate and this 1 that's at the B will come to this input of the OR gate it will go through the NOT gate and be a 0 here consequently we will have in this position a 1 because with an OR gate you only need 1 1 present at the input to give a 1 at the output now of course this 1 will now come here to the input of the AND gate and the AND gate will only give you a 1 at the output when both inputs are a 1 and we can see here that that is not the case consequently the output here is a 0 and again we can see that that and this are exactly the same the other combination we can have is when A is a 1 and B is a 0 and we'll put those on both of the combinational logic circuits and we'll follow through the logic of this so that 1 will come into the AND gate this 0 will come into the AND gate we'll have a 0 at the output here and that will come to the input of the OR gate here the 1 will come down to be the input to this gate the 0 will come through the NOT gate here to be a 1 and we now have a 1 and a 1 at the input to an AND gate consequently the output here is a 1 and that 1 will now go to the input of the OR gate so the output will be a 1 if we come to this combinational logic circuit that 1 will come to the input here this 0 will come to the input of the OR gate that 0 will come through the NOT gate and be a 1 and the output from this OR gate will now be a 1 and that 1 will now come to the input of this AND gate and we can see that the AND gate has two ones at its input consequently the output will be a 1 and we can see the output of a 1 here is also the output of a 1 here so for the same combinational input both of these combinational logic circuits give us the same output the final combination we can have is when both A and B are a 1 so we can have them both as a 1 here and likewise over here now that means that there will be a 1 at the input to this AND gate the output of which would be a 1 a 1 will come down here to the input of this AND gate and the B which is a 1 will come through this NOT gate and will be a 0 here the output from an AND gate for a 1 and a 0 at its input is a 0 which will mean that the OR gate will have at its input a 1 and it will also have a 0 and a 1 or a 0 is a 1 we now have this one for the other combinational logic circuit coming into the input this B here will come to the input of the OR gate and the 1 which is the B will come through the NOT gate and be changed to a 0 and the output of the OR gate will be a 1 you only need one 1 present at the input of an OR gate for the output to be a 1 and that 1 will now be fed into the input of the AND gate 
and this AND gate has two ones at its input in other words both of its inputs are a one and that's the condition and in fact the only condition will give us a one at the output if we now have a look at this output here we can see it's a one and we can see it is also a one here so for the same input combination we can see that the output is the same so we can see that when both inputs are a zero the outputs in both cases are a zero when we have the input as 0, 1, the outputs are a 0. When we have the inputs as 1, 0, the output is a 1. And when we have the inputs as both 1, we can see that the output is a 1. Consequently, we can see that these logic circuits have the same logic functionality. Therefore, we are correct in saying that this expression here is the same as this because their combinational logic circuits can be shown to give exactly the same functionality.